Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are dreaming of working in Australia or considering the 4 visa or any other visas like so 189, 190, 491 or 491 visas, you are in the right place. Today we are driving into the cost involved and I will share some insight of the skill assessment because without positive skill assessment, you can't process ahead. And we will also discuss about the RPLs, which means recognition of prior learning. So yeah, but before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future updates. Now let's talk about the initial step in the process and the skill assessment for an Australian qualifications. In a previous video, I shared my experience with the different consultancies from expensive swan in Dubai to finding more affordable options like specific education and migration consultancy. Now I have discovered ICS migrations which is not only cost effective but also incredibly fast. A friend who of my mind received their skill assessment within just two months through the RPL. So, so I will share in this video all of the cost and the, what is the procedures and the, what is the requirement in this video. So you can check in the side of the screens. Okay, so let's start. So this email I got from ICS, which is very cheap till I found for the skill assessment, but make sure you have to research yourself. So let's start. To initiate your skill assessment, you will need to provide uh, key documents. I had already made a video about that, so you can also check that video through the description of the link. And uh, I will just read and share what they require. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's start, let's go ahead. So make sure to find your updated CV, passport, current and previous work experience, along with 8 to 10 work photos. So, uh, so I'm doing my assessment with Pacific, so, but yes, this is the more cheaper. So I will definitely suggest you. It is a, uh, it is almost one thousand dollars cheaper than my current skill assessment. So also I'm telling you, I'm not getting any money. I'm not getting any money from this consultancy. I'm just giving you the general informations to my viewer. Furthermore, time and money efficiency. So here we can see along with 8 to 10 of photos, but I will suggest you at least 20 photos. Okay, and at least one photos for the one course. So I already explained about that. You can take that video and at least five or video. Okay, so here is returns at least 30 seconds, but I will suggest you make below two minutes more than a minute. Okay, and let's and let's break down the cost. For the RPL, you need $1200. Of course, this is a cheaper than mine, okay? And these steps might not be necessary if you have previously completed a skill assessment or if you have five years experience or more than that. So if you got at least two years of work experience, then you could eligible through the RPL. That's the main reasons we need RPL, okay? And the two, so for the skill assessment, this is number one, no cost. There is no cost. You have to submit all of the document and they will check your document. And after that, they will submit you all of the document regarding department. And this is number two, you have to pay $1,120. So this is the directly go to the TRA, to the skill, skill assessment team. So they will not take any of the money. You, you can go through the online and you can check yourself. So there is no between money cost okay so that would be directly go to the uh, skill assessment department and for the test three after you send all of the document to the tra they will verify after that you have to pay 900 dollars okay for the third test and after that you will get the technical interview and after that you have to pay 770 dollars for the ics charge okay so that's very very cheap so with rpl your your cost will be go three thousand nine hundred ninety dollars and without rpl the cost will be go thousand seven hundred ninety dollars that's why i used to say keep updated with me so i will make video and update it more genuine more cheap and more efficiency okay so but yes of course you have to research yourself so one of my subscribers asked me since i watched the total cost for the 482 visa so 
um, brother uh, the visa cost is for the different visa categories for the different price okay but for the 42 visa a uh, 42 visa is the categorized in the three kind of visa so first is short term uh, second one is medium term obviously and the third is the labor agreement visa okay so short term is for the cook as a cook who carry a uh, level 3 certificate skill assessment okay and for that one you have to pay $1455 and if you are married and if you want to come with your wife or in, in future or in future if you want to apply your wife so it's gonna be a cost same your cost okay so it's the same so it's the one thousand four hundred fifty five dollar so maybe it can be changed it can be increased in future and uh, if you have a son or if you have daughter okay who is below 18 years old then the, you have to pay 365 dollar for your kids for the one kid okay so you can carry you can calculate and you can estimate and if you want to apply through the labor agreement or the medium term so you have to pay 3055 dollar for the one person and here is the same and if you want to apply with your wife then you have to pay the same amount 3035 dollar and you want to come with your children as well then the poor children below 18 year old $760 that's all for the cost I think after that you can assume so how much you need for this skill assessment how much they will take the charge and how much for the visa and how much for your flight booking how much for your uh, money and how much you will estimate for your uh, residential place okay so after all of this cost all of the expenses you can calculate yourself that's uh, depend on you okay and the how much is the lower cost so that's also depend on the lawyer and depend on the consultancy so you can calculate and you can estimate yourself thank you very much brother for your beautiful comment